Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss few important things regarding the apicultures. You know, this is allied subjects and nowadays in the various examinations, questions are being asked from the allied subjects. First, let's see which type of questions they are asking or which has been already asked in the examinations. First is which of science of rearing honeybee is known as apiculture, simple. Which of the flowing is false regarding the honeybee? This question was asked regarding the honeybee. Okay, then see, worker is a sterile female. Okay, this one is correct. Born from unfertilized egg. Okay, I, no, no, this is incorrect. Which the options you have to say were there, which you have to select, which one is correct, which one is not correct. Okay, simply you have to fi find the false ones. You know that uh, simply when you talk about this, uh, queen or the workers in honeybee, they develop from the, from where? From the, the diploid eggs, or you can say fertilized eggs. Okay. When you talk about this uh, fertilized eggs, that is 2N. Okay. If they feed on the royal jelly, then it becomes queen, that is fertile female. And if it feeds on the bread like things, then they become worker. Okay. Or you can say that a sterile female. Okay. Then worker is a style female, but they are born. They are also born from the fertilized egg. But here in the options, it was born from the unfertilized eggs. Queen bee emits yes, they emits pheromones uh, pheromones that increases the male drones to mate. Which of the flowing bee is known as the European bee? And that scientific name was asked regarding the Apis mellifera. Now let's have some information regarding the apiculture honey bee Apis species. Okay, family Apid. Okay, science of rearing honeybee that is known as apiculture. Okay, queen of uh, queen, queen fert, uh, fertile female that is responsible for the laying of the eggs and worker, you know, that is sterile female. Okay, and see here it is clearly written they are born from the fertilized eggs. Drone male insects. Okay, drone miss, we are talking about the male insects. Okay, but and this drone male, or you can say drone, they are born from the unfertilized eggs. Okay. Now, fertilized eggs, you know, it gives rise to the female that may be either queen or the worker. Okay. But um, uh, by feeding on the royal jenny, they, one becomes uh, queen, and by feed, feeding on uh, feeding on the braids like substance, they, another becomes worker. Miss, and they, if you talk about the castes, then there, there are only two reproductive castes. One is queen, that is female, and another is drawn. Okay. See, in honeybee, the labium and maxilla are fused to form a lapping tongue. Okay. Lapping tongue is present here. Now, the bag like, um, or you can say that, uh, or crop, uh, the crop, which is a bag like a structure in the foregut of the honey bee, uh, and that is called as the honey stomach. That is the reservoir of the food, or you can say that a uh, uh, nectar conversion occurs there. Okay. Now, when you talk about the celebrity gland of the worker honeybee, okay, they used to secrete. Enzyme inverters that is to reduce the sucrose of the nectar eh, into leverose and dextrose of honey in the crop. Who, who celebrity gland? The worker celebrity gland. Okay. What do you mean by the foraging? Foraging means simply the collection of pollen and the nectar by the honeys. Okay. Regarding the pheromones, we have discussed. Okay. And uh, the mating between uh, queen and the drone eh, that is done through the nuptial. Uh, flight that is also known as the marriage flight. Okay, uh, what now? There is two terminology. One is swarming, and another is absconding. Swarming is the uh, when there is overcrowded in the hives. Okay, then this is the behavior of the honeybees uh, that they is to leave a large number of uh, uh, bees is to leave the hive uh, to give relief from the overcrowding in the colony. Okay, and absconding means when the entire colony is to leave off the place. And they used to establish the new colony at a new places. Okay, that is absconding. Now, royal jelly that is produced by the nurse bee eh, when they are uh, one to two weeks of age, eh, and it is used to feed to the queen larva or the young workers. Okay, in a total eight seven species of bees are present in India. Among these one, uh, six are indigenous, eh, and one is the exotic that is Apis mellifera. Okay, and out of these seven, only four are red. Okay, commercially. Okay, next is floral 
fidelity. What is floral fidelity? Okay, when we restrict themselves to a single source of pollen and nectar to fulfill their uh, uh, food availability, that is floral fidelity. Honey flow season, when they, the surplus food is available. Okay, that's where when there is a scarcity of uh, is found of nectar rich plant. Okay. Uh, next, when you talk, just we have seen what is swarming, just uh, to reduce the overcrowding of the hives absconding you have understood now next is uh, super uh, yes next is supersede your queen okay when they, what happens this suppose the the old queen which is present there they are unable to lay the sufficient eggs okay then what happens now they will be replaced by this uh, another queen okay which is to emerge from the drones can be draw, emerge from drone also that is a uh, supersedure queen okay now while it, if you talk the uh, pollination by B, then it is known as myelotophily. And what is the percentage of sugar in honeybee? Or you can say the specific gravity of honeybee. Uh, then these are the various parameters which you have to uh, remember. Um, because is, if you see, when you talk about the specific gra gravity of honeybee, it is 1.3 to 1.4 gram per cc. Okay. Similarly, I'll in, uh, again, I'll give you the uh, fructose, sucrose contents, and this uh, galactose contents also in royal jelly that also you should remember. Now let's see one by one. First is rock bee, that is Ephes dorsata. Huh? See, this is rock bee is largest among the commercially cultivated. I've told you that out of six, only four are com uh, commercially cultivated. Then this is largest among the uh, commercially cultivated species. Okay. Uh, and uh, next is little bee, it is Ephes floria. Uh, and, uh, big, the poor yield of honey, honey is there. Okay. They are the smaller species than all honeybees. They, they are not of economically reared. Okay, Indian bees, that is Epis serena indica. Eh? It, uh, uh, if you it, see, the, but uh, this Epis uh, Indian bee, they are more prone to swarming and absconding. Okay, and they used to construct the parallel comb. When you talk of the European material bee, Epis mellifera. Okay. <coughs> And this is the uh, it is introduced a species of bee from Italy, okay. And they are they used to also build the parallel comb, they are less prone to the swarming and responding, okay. And uh, it has more for a uh, foraging range than the Indian bee, Damar bee that is Melina and uh, Iridipenis, okay. Then last one is Himalayan bee that is the largest among the all the species. Uh, okay, Th that was um, dorsata. Epis dorsata was among the cultivated, commercially cultivated. This largest size among all the species of the bee, and they are the good pollinator of apple also. Okay, then especially scientific name you must remember because you have seen the, from that section question has been asked in the examinations. You can see that this is the life cycle of uh, honeybee. Uh, these are the queens, drone, and workers. Okay, queen. This is the just we, we have seen before also that from where queen is developed, they are perfectly developed female. Okay, um, uh, by fertilize fertilize eggs. Okay, after fertilize eggs, they used to feed feed on the royal jelly. Okay, and queen will mate with the drones eh? only once in her lifetime. Okay, and that is known as the nuptial flight. After that, when you talk about that. Uh, now, when you talk about the laying of the eggs by the queen, then queen can lay fertilizer or unfly, uh, unfertilized eggs. Okay. Now, fertilized eggs will give ri rise to workers, or you can say that sexual females. Okay. Or you can say potential queen. And from unfertilized eggs, drones are produced because you know there are all three groups queen, uh, fertilized female, uh, sterile female, and male. Then, of course, the queen will give, uh, will, uh, queen can can be uh, they can lay fertilizer and fertilize eggs also okay now workers they are a sterile female they are developed also from the fertilized eggs okay and why they are uh, they remain such sterile due to the unavailability of the royal jelly okay uh, after that when you talk about the drone they are developed from the unfertilized eggs uh, the, uh, the only function of drone is to mate with the queen and the life span of indian uh, indian bee drone is two months Okay, after that, uh, when you talk about the dances of week, then there is uh, waggle dance, and that is a semicircular dance. Uh, this is the 
it indicates the direction of food or the richness of food when you talk about the round dance it uh, this is the uh, it means that uh, uh, when the dance is in circle if, if, if when the source is nearby okay now when you talk about the composition of honey then there is 41 percent fructose glucose is 37 uh, percent moisture 17 to 20 percent okay and the sucrose five percent royal jelly then you, see, you can see protein is 18 percent Carbohydrate 8 to 18 percent, lipid 2 to 6 percent, and vitamin B complex. These are the various disease of the honeybee. Okay, now you, you should must remember the disease also. Nosema that is proto, uh, proto, uh, protozoan disease, American fallbrood that is bacterial, European fallbrood bacterial, chalky brood disease, fungal, stone disease, fungal, and sac disease that is viral. When you talk about the bee enemies, then wax mouth that is Galeria melonilla is the most serious enemy of the honeybee. Okay. That's in length is 10 to 18 mm in length. How you can manage by fumigation with the methyl bromide? Okay. And another is lesser wax moth and death hawk moth. These are the also the enemies of the bee. Thank you.